led a public meeting attended by 800 farmers in Cambridge on Friday. Waikato dairy farmer Hank Schmidt outed a herd he co-owns as the first in the region to have Mycoplasma bovis. Our reporter Zach Fleming and cameraman Nick Monroe have spent the day on one of Hank's uh, three farms. After six o'clock tonight, Hank tells Zach about the herd of cattle he purchased from Alfonsi Stratton back in 2016 and what happened to that herd. But just after 4pm this afternoon, before he began milking, Zach broke the news of that decision to Hank. The government will try to eradicate the Mycoplasma bovis disease from New Zealand farms with the agreement of the farming sector. It will be a phased eradication planned over the next one to two years and will cost $886 million. And this will involve culling all cattle on all infected properties as well as cattle on any restricted properties. So that's both of your farms. Yes, it sounds like it, yeah. How, how are you feeling at the moment? Wow. I feel like I'm dropping in a hole at the moment. Yeah. Is it what you were expecting? Well, I, I thought I would have a bit more common sense. Yeah, I think uh, the farming community, farming community has got uh, worse diseases to deal with, in my opinion. What does this mean for you now? The, if I can continue reading, it says that of that $886 million, $870 million will cover the response to farmers, including compensation. Will you keep farming? Oh, I mean, uh, if, if I have to uh, give up my cows, if they come and take my cows, then uh, no, definitely I'll be out of farming, that's it. I've given 33 years of my life to this industry and... Uh, it's, it's quite hard to take, actually, just to see my family go. Yeah. Will you try and do anything to stop them coming and taking your cows? You said you said it's an if, but, but this press release here says that they will be culling all cows on restricted and infected properties, which are, are both your farms. Oh, I don't know. I have to think about this. I mean, I... Uh, I find it really hard to uh, to see my good cows uh, go. Uh, the other thing is, so far uh, I've got no reason uh, to uh, to have faith uh, in the compensation process. I mean, the farmers that have been dealt with, uh, they're coming up severely short. And uh, I think from uh, from the contacts uh, that I've had, is uh, some farmers had the word from the bank already. Um, so you know, this press release here says that Dairy New Zealand supports the decision to try and eradicate the disease. Are you surprised by that? Yes, I am. Yeah, I am. I thought there was a bit more common sense available in in the industry, uh, particularly when they don't know how how widespread it is. Um, no, I'm shocked actually. Are you, are you all right, Hank? I mean, are you, what are you going to do? I mean, <laughs> oh, I'm going to have a couple of Steve Rams tonight. <laughs> uh, I don't know. I'll probably smoke an extra pack of smokes. Um, yeah, I don't know. I mean, I think when you go through life, uh, you deal with problems and you look for solutions and uh, and whatever. And that's that's how I go through life, like everybody else. But this is uh, a problem that's out of my hands. You know, somebody is taking uh, taking that power away from me to sort my problems. Um, and I find it very, very sad. I mean, you saw my calves this afternoon, you know. I put a lot of uh, effort and love uh, into rearing my calves, and now the call has been made these animals are going to be killed. You know, I find it uh, shocking. It's not just money for you, is it? No, well, I need to pay my bills. Uh, but for the rest, nah. I mean, uh, I haven't gone through life worrying too much about money, you know. I love what I'm doing. And, and, uh, for some and now that's over. As you said, you're going to stop farming. Oh, I mean, if my cows go, that, that is it for me, you know. I'm not going to start all over again. And uh, no, no, definitely not. Why can't a dairy farmer, Hank Schmidt,